I'm Dr. Pam Spencer, Scientific Director for Dow's Toxicology Environmental Research and Consulting Function, and I'm going to be talking about how 21st century toxicology is going to transform the way that we're doing product safety assessments. TURC stands for Toxicology, Environmental, Research, and Consulting. TURC is an exceptional, world-class uh, group of scientists that are passionate about human health and protecting the environment. They are supporting all of Dow's businesses and operations globally, and probably most significant and notable is that while many companies are choosing to either downsize that expertise or remove it completely, Dow continues to see the value of maintaining that expertise in-house and is not only maintaining it it, but investing it as it's moving to the next generation of science methodologies. TOX21 is an acronym for toxicity testing in the 21st century, and what it really signifies is the transformation that's occurring in the field of toxicology today, where we are moving from a complete reliance on animal testing to assess safety to more computational cell-based models that will allow us to be able to assess safety earlier. And the importance of that is that as you look at animal testing, you really have to have a material before you can test in animals. And so oftentimes by the time you get a test material, the product development process is well down the road. Now with our new methods, we can engage very early in the product development process and be able to actually look at early indications of product safety and impact on the environment with just things like a chemical structure. Research and development is a very critical partner as we're looking at the T21 approach because for TOX21, what we want to do is to be able to identify early issues before we get too far into the product development process. And so it's very important that R&D and the toxicologists are partnering very early on so that they can advise which materials should move on into the product development process and to be able to help guide design choices. We are currently using a tiered approach. We get engaged very early with R&D and very early on we're focused on worker safety and what we call toxicology showstoppers, which are CMRs, which would be materials that have the potential to be carcinogens, mutagens, reproductive toxicants, and PBTs, so persistent bioaccumulative toxic in the environment. It's important to identify those up front early as we gather that information and as we move on further with candidates that go on into further product development, we can then validate those results with more definitive tests. And ultimately, when we get to the final and regulatory driven animal tests, we can be certain that we're going to have materials that are going to meet the regulatory hurdles and not be unmarketable. Exposure is very important. As a toxicologist, we have two foundational rules. One is that risk is a function of hazard and exposure, and the second is that the dose makes the poison. And what I mean by the dose makes the poison is that all things are hazardous at some level, at some concentration. And so it's important to understand exposure so you can put that hazard into context. The sustainable alternatives goal is really that we want to produce a product that has superior efficacy or functionality, has an improved health and environmental profile at the same cost or lower. I think the most critical are those that can serve as alternative tests to animal testing. So for example, in the cosmetic industry, Europe has banned all animal testing of cosmetic products. And they are in a dire need of having to have robust replacements for animal tests. Uh, as a result of this, we have focused our research program very heavily on developing, validating, and actually gaining global regulatory acceptance for these alternative animal tests. 
As you can imagine, Dow Home and Personal Care is always innovating and trying to develop new products to take to market to meet their customer needs. And part of doing that is getting it right the first time. And so being able to partner and use our T21 methods and being able to assess things very early on to guide the appropriate decision making to make sure that the products not only meet the customer's needs, but they meet society's expectations of being safer and friendlier for the environment. That's the real value that these new tools and frameworks will deliver. Ethics has to be at the very top of, of the pyramid. It has to drive everything that we do because today there is an increased demand for transparency of the information that we have and an expectation that we are going to understand the impact of our products for human health and the environment. So with that, uh, if we're not ethical and we're not doing that, our products are swiftly taken off the market, whether there's a real issue or not. So ethics is really the foundation. Expertise is becoming incredibly important as the science advances, as the technology solutions advances. We need a multidisciplinary group of experts that can really help drive the solutions and the products that are going to be needed to solve the challenges in the future. And finally, early engagement is really what I just call doing good business, getting it right the first times, making sure that we're engaged early, identifying showstoppers early, and really truly putting products on the market that we know are going to be successful and sustainable. Mm -hmm.